Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is officially day four of this Walt Disney World series. If you haven't seen the rest of the videos, I will link them up there so you can go give them a watch. Today we are headed to Magic Kingdom for the New Year's Eve celebration. Just a little disclaimer, it's actually not New Year's Eve today, it's the 30th of December, but at Magic Kingdom every year they do two New Year's Eve celebrations, one on the 30th and then one on the 31st actual real life New Year's Eve. But because we are going to Epcot to celebrate New Year, we decided today we will go and celebrate new year at the magic kingdom it's just around half past 10 and we're just about to leave we have decided that once we get there we are not going to leave because parks are at capacity like this is the busiest time of year so once we get in as long as it's before two o'clock i feel like we should be able to get in because we have a reservation but once we get in we are not going to leave because so many people i believe are going to try and get in so if you want to find out what it's like to celebrate new year at magic kingdom then stay tuned and other than that let's go we're just on our way past the, the shop in the All Star Sports Resort, which is where we're staying. And it looks like they're selling like wine and stuff for New Year. I don't know anything about wine. It looks like it's sparkling. I feel like it's sparkling cider. That's probably not alcoholic. And then like something or other. I don't know anything about wine, but if you want to get wine for New Year, you can. There's not a single soul at the bus stop, and that only means one thing. We just missed the bus. <laughs> Darn it. It says the next bus isn't coming for 25 minutes, so we really have just missed it. But they're supposed to be every 20 minutes, so I don't understand that. I don't know, but anyway, we're just going to wait for it because we obviously need to get there. My previous comment is being retracted. There is officially another way. We're going to walk to All Star Music. It's, le it's like three minutes probably if you walk at a normal pace. And hopefully there'll be a bus in less than 25 minutes that we can catch from there. Guys, the bus is there at music. I hope it doesn't go without us. We're running. It's gone without us. This is the saddest news ever. What now? Movies. We're walking to movies, aren't we? Oh, what a waste of time. At this point, if you were normal, you'd either one, just sit and wait, or two, get an Uber. But we're too cheap and impatient for that. So we're now walking to movies. And I swear, if that leaves in front of our eyes, I'm going to be fuming. Guys, this is not a joke. I think the bus is there. I can see a bus. And it's on the back bus stop, which always is the Magic Kingdom one. If that goes, we're turning around, we're turning around and running back. We've got until 11.05, which is 15 minutes. Oh, this is just... This is just a joke. Oh, sure. <laughs> it wasn't mine. <laughs> Should have just waited. Don't do this. That's 100% not a boss. 100%. Oh, we're running. Guys, it's still here. We made it. Oh my gosh. All of that just saves us 12 whole minutes. <laughs> Worth it? I don't think so. <laughs> so we've made it. It's currently just gone 11 o'clock. Past. Nearly quarter past 11 and uh, these are security queues so I'd say so far so good this isn't looking absolutely manic just yet. I'll keep you updated on the crowd levels though as we go on. There goes the train. Here we go. This is what Main Street crowds are looking like. There is a parade in about 45 minutes though which we are going to stay and watch. It's a Christmas parade which we've never seen before. Very, very exciting times. But first, we're gonna grab, uh, we're gonna go to Sunshine Tree Terrace and grab an orange doll whip. Here we go. I believe this was six something. I'm not sure. Let me read it on there. Oh, 5.79 plus tax. Would highly recommend. You grab it from Sunshine Tree Terrace, which is just across the bridge from Main Street. Well, we found ourselves a spot for, for the parade just across from Country Bear Jamboree. Apparently it runs the same route as Festival of Fantasy, but obviously if you don't know that route, it comes along from past Picos Bills, and this is pretty much a good place to sit because it means it'll start on the time it actually says, whereas if you sit on Main Street, it can be like half an hour, 20 minutes, half an hour, depending how long uh, before it actually gets to you because it starts here and it goes very slowly. So if you want it to be done quicker and then try and get on a ride or something, it's always better to sit close to Picos Bills. Also, what time is it? It's 25 minutes until it starts and there's quite a lot of people sat so I'd say at least 20 minutes before I would get a spot because otherwise you'll have to sit behind people and you never know if they stand up you might not be able to see. Also if you want to sit on Main Street that gets even more full so be even earlier. This is a good place to come if you want to do it a bit more last minute as well because less people know to come here whereas everyone just thinks of Main Street when they think about the parade so that gets really busy.
absolutely amazing and it's definitely the one they play in the Christmas party. So if you want to experience the Christmas party but you don't want to pay for it, you'll obviously still need a ticket to get in. Um, you can come between Christmas and New Year or maybe like the week before Christmas as well and they do the Christmas parade and the Christmas fireworks and all the Christmas overlays on the ride. So we've basically experienced the Christmas party without paying for it, which is amazing. We are now headed for the Enchanted Tiki Room and also we now have confirmation they're doing fireworks in the sky, which is the New Year fireworks, today at 6.30 and 11.50. So we're going to watch the 11.50 but we're hoping after the 6.30 one, some people will go home. Jack Sparrow is just wandering past as you do. As you do. We're now at the Tiki Room, so let's go. This is four minute wait, so that is good timing. Let's go. All right, don't call me Senorita, please, Jose. Oh, when is this Senorita? My siestas are getting shorter and shorter. <laughs> Well, that was still weird and scary, but you have to do it at some point, it's the rules. Crowds are still pretty low I would say, not like really low, but I don't feel like it's crammed in at all. We are now on our way to Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor. Mickey's Friendship Fair, or whatever its exact name is, is back on again, so there's definitely multiple shows a day. It's about five. And it's not a busy crowd, really. It says ten minutes. It looks like a lot of people. I don't quite believe that, but we're doing it anyway. Standby entrance is all the way near Tomorrowland Terrace. I can't imagine this is going to be ten minutes, but oh well. We've got to do something. Some sad news, we completely forgot about the existence of Tron and we forgot to get boarding group at one o'clock. So we will go on it, but not today, currently. It's been just about half an hour and we are in, so definitely an underestimate on that, but it's got a Christmas wreath on it, so this may be a Christmas special, which is very exciting. This is hilarious, Ross has a Christmas jumper on. <laughs> this is definitely a Christmas special, this is so good. Oh, we got a couple of jingles in the jingle walk in already. Jingle walk <laughs> Now, over here, we have a dancer. Cheer him on, we have a dancer. Surprise! I have been studying all of the traditions, and I can certainly tell you about them. All right, we're going to test that. Humans, uh, I'm going to call on one of you, uh, find out where you're from, and see if my sister could tell us about your traditions. It could be anyone. Takes that, and then a big fat rabbit comes and leaves rotten eggs everywhere, and they dance around the iconic North Pole! Yay! <laughs> Does that sound like things in New Jersey? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> recommend it and to be honest even if it's not Christmas when you're going I would highly rec recommend watching it even if you've not seen it or you have it's always different and it's always really funny we're now headed over to Peacock's Fields to grab some lunch park hopping begins in about five minutes so I believe everybody in here is now trying to get in before park hopping, park hopping starts and then it potentially reaches capacity I don't know if it actually will but I feel like there's a fair chance so I feel like from now on it's gonna start getting busier as the day goes on. Runs on hay. Now we didn't see no horses, no donkeys around here. Then it came in a flash, you have to ask. He decided on reindeer. Alright, 
So this is what we've gone for, veggie rice ball for me and Rach went for the taco trio and got all chicken. It looks really nice. It comes with all sorts of sides. We are now going to sit and wait for the 3pm Christmas parade. We're going to watch it again but I'm not going to film it because I've obviously already seen it this morning. I just want to watch it for myself and then we'll figure out what's happening next. I said I wasn't going to film but this is too cool. They've got high school marching bands and they're really, really good. We've now come to do something that I think I've only done once before. We are coming to watch the Hall of Presidents, or we're in the Hall of Presidents. I'm assuming the show is called, I don't know, something to do with the Hall of Presidents. Um, as I said, we've only seen it once before. I think it was actually quite interesting, so we've decided to come and watch it again. All right, here we go. It's quite a big theater, but there's loads of people behind us. Apparently it's 20 minutes long. So make sure if you do want to come and watch it, you've got at least 40 minutes to wait and then come in. Apparently we've got front row seats, so that's cool. See how this is. And George Washington becomes the symbol of American ideals. In the first presidential election, it's Washington by a landslide. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation. No longer just an idea, it is an idea with a proud history. Ladies and gentlemen, the presidents of the United States of America. Well, that was quite nice. I wouldn't go out of my way to do it. If you've got limited time, I definitely wouldn't give up time for it, but it's nice. And I think as a Brit or not an American, it's new stuff that you don't really know. Whereas I don't know if that's like, it might be common knowledge if you're American. I don't actually know. But anyway, it was, it was a nice little show. We've just come to listen to the Dapper Dans. Oh my gosh, I love the Dapper Dans. <laughs> We are now headed over to the Carousel of Progress. This is a really good one if you want a nap. It's, it's also actually quite fun. But if you just want a comfy seat for a bit, it's a really good place to go. And when it becomes a reality, it's a dream come true for you and me. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow. Just a dream away. We're now headed to watch Mickey's Fill of Magic. I must say the crowds are still fairly okay it's not like empty by any means but it's doable like you're not constantly losing each other people aren't knocking into each other it's not that manic yet i don't want to speak too soon because i can only imagine later today and tomorrow it might get a bit more crazy this is a 3d show so i'm not going to film it it's another one of those where it's like i'd do it if i'd had a spare time but i wouldn't prioritize it it's not like the best thing you'll ever see in your life if you don't already know you can go to any restaurant and they will give you cups of ice cold water for free so if you're thirsty and you don't want to pay, this is the best way to do it. Since the fireworks are half six, it's currently just before six o'clock, we've decided we're going to watch the first ones. We might also watch the second ones, but it means we don't have to worry if the weather changes or if we're too tired to stay, but then we'll have seen it. So this is basically our only day to see it. Guys, they're even selling treats from the Very Merry Christmas Party, I guess maybe only... I don't know, I didn't see it yesterday. It might be for these two weeks around Christmas. Sugar Plum Sunday, that's pretty cool. They've just said over the speakers that apparently you'll be able to, you'll have an excellent viewing location from Tomorrowland, Frontierland and Fantasyland. We're going to go on Main Street because we don't want to miss anything, but apparently you'll be able to see it from pretty much anywhere, so that sounds quite good. Does any 
anybody out there tonight want to see some fireworks before we get to the night? I would definitely say if you can get a spot on Main Street, that's your best bet. Because there are all things that happen on the castle. The DJs are like in front of the castle. And obviously like Tinkwell flies from the castle. So you're definitely better on Main Street. But obviously if you can't get a spot, then anywhere's fine. Um, there's also like after it, there's like a whole DJ set happening now. But we decided to leave because we, we have rides to go on or whatever we want to do. We are just making a plan now to see what we want to get up to for the rest of the evening. So we've kind of just been sat for a little while hoping the crowds would go down. They've very very slowly going down but we've just seen that it's a small world is 10 minutes so if it is if we go there and it looks quite empty we're gonna head on that all right still says 10 minutes let's go there's some queuing i think it's basically like one way that way and then round to the bottom hopefully it won't be too long It's been 12 minutes and we're pretty much at the front, so I'd say that was a pretty fair estimate. I'll give it to them. Some kid in Pinocchio Village House has got a sign that says clap. And the DJ set is still on. I don't know if it's now just on until midnight or what, but it's still going. There's plenty of people around. But we have decided we're gonna head back to the hotel. If you're gonna hear me, it makes all the craziness in the background. We decided we're gonna go back because we've now seen the fireworks. They weren't the most amazing thing I've ever 
teeth, so I don't feel like I need to watch them again. Although they were good. Um, and basically the queue times are not getting any less. So we're like, why are we still here? We've done all the rides we want to do, other than mine train. So let's just go back and chill at the hotel. And then I'm gonna try some new, oh, I could get the cupcake too. Yeah, I'm gonna try some new, like yeah, I'm gonna try some new foods as well while we're there. Guys, how cute is this? It retails at $35 and it's reduced to 10. We cannot buy it because we have no space in our suitcases, but that is a really good deal. We've and additional discount supply. Yes, we could get 20 cent off of our GVC discount as well. That's amazing. This, but we've seen some really good. These are 20 and these are 20. We've seen some really good bargains. Guys, look at this, what they've also put out. You can actually buy the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party 2023. Whoa, I nearly just dropped my phone and then I caught it. Uh, jumper. That's so good, like you don't even have to go to the party. So basically, if you want to experience the party, come between Christmas and New Year, it's a genius plan, and it's all included in the price of your ticket. Sound like I work for Disney, I don't. This one's cute. But the only problem is you can only wear it at Christmas, and we don't come at Christmas every year. We also have this one, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party 2023 pass holder. I'm officially not a pass holder right now though, so I cannot buy it. Nothing on the back. I will be a, pa yeah you are, I'll be a pass holder within the week, but right now I am not one. That's cute though. It actually looks like it's, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, it looks like it's snowing and sticking in real life. That's amazing. <laughs> Just a note, quite a lot of people are coming in, so it's definitely nowhere near capacity. So if you do want to come at the last minute just to watch the fireworks at midnight, you definitely can, or at least in, in this case. Bear in mind, this is not New Year's Eve, it's New Year's Eve Eve. But still, that's good. I have never seen this before. They've got the blow up things out that they do like the treat stations on Halloween and stuff to tell you where the ferry boat is, the resort buses. I don't know if you can really see through the camera, but those huge blue glowing things, that's what they say on them. Anyway. Oh. Ooh, oh, <laughs> that one's fell down. Anyway, we're now headed back to the resort. We have made it back to the resort and I may or may not be purchasing a Starbucks cup. Reduced, uh, Rach is purchasing it for me. She's very kind. Uh, it's reduced from $50 to 20, plus we get discounts. So I actually love it, it's so cute. Also, Rach just spotted this. They've got almond milk in the little carton. How much is it? I've never seen that before. Two forty-nine. Maybe I have. If I've said this in a previous vlog, <laughs> vlog, please don't judge me. But I'm pretty sure I haven't seen it before. I've never seen that before. Um, so, I guess if you like really love like tea or coffee, but you only drink it with milk in, you could buy one of them and it'd last like a couple of days. Maybe I don't know. True, guys. With DVC discount, that was thir in then in converted back into pounds. That was thirteen pound fifty-five p. <gasps> How good's that? I'm so chuffed. So we were only planning on buying one meal a day because we went to Walmart, but I've been very tempted to buy the Impossible Meatloaf. So it's Impossible Meatloaf with garlic mashed potato, garlic green beans and mushroom gravy. Doesn't that sound amazing? And it's 14 49 Also, there's a vegan cupcake and we're going to get that and try it as well. How good does this look? And it smells amazing. I could not be more excited about this. When I saw it on the menu, I didn't realise it had all these cool sides with it. I feel like you never find vegan mash and they look and smell amazing. Let's give it a go. Also, I was asking Rachel on the bus on the way back because I'd already decided I was going to get it. What actually is meatloaf? Because I didn't really know. So this is going to be an interesting experience. It's not really a thing that we have in England. Let's give it a try. Mmm, that's quite nice. I like it. Let's try the mash. Nice. And finally the beans. Mm. They're not really warm, that's the problem, because I guess they've been sat there a while. But they are really tasty. I would highly recommend that meal, it is really good. So this is the cupcake we got. It looks crazy. It's like, you would never find food this colour in England, I don't feel like. It's so vibrant blue, it's ridiculous. It's called Walking in a Plant-Based Snowland, and it was like 5 79 I think. It's a chocolate chocolate cupcake i think with vanilla flavored frosting so i don't know how it's blue i guess it's just food coloring but anyway i'll give it a test and uh tell you guys what i think all right here we go mm, it's not so far rich is giving it a good review and she's not even vegan oh my tongue's now blue so that tells you about the food coloring situation what i will say is really nice it's really like heavy and dense which I don't think it's a bad thing, but like you might want to eat a whole one to yourself or like maybe don't eat a huge meal and then eat one. Me and Rich are sharing it, so it's not too bad, but it is quite a lot to it. It is really good though, I'd highly recommend if it's around. Hopefully next year they bring it back. After a couple of bites, that really starts tasting like banana. We checked the ingredients and it does have banana in, so that makes sense. 
if you hate banana though i wouldn't get it because it does taste like not like artificial banana like actual banana it's not bad if you like banana but it is fairly strong like you can really taste it so if you don't like banana don't get it if you don't mind banana i would highly recommend but me and rachel both said we've just finished it with about two or three bites to go we'd kind of had enough so i'd definitely say share it with somebody if you don't have a huge appetite or you don't really like sweet things I'm going to leave this video here, so I really do hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave it a massive thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any future content. We are headed for the real New Year's Eve tomorrow at Epcot, so make sure you don't miss it. And other than that, I'll see you next time. Bye!